While you're panicking about AI stealing your job, the real threat isn't OpenAI's latest model. It's your mindset about what makes you irreplaceable. Sam Altman just declared we've crossed into the gentle singularity. And while everyone's freaking out about O3 Pro beating PhD level benchmarks, they're missing the massive opportunity hiding in plain sight. Look, I get it. You see AI writing code faster than you, analyzing data better than you, and generating content that would take you hours and seconds, your first instinct, fear, your second, start polishing that resume. But what if I told you that Altman's gentle singularity isn't your career death sentence? It's actually the biggest professional advantage you'll ever have if you know how to exploit it. Let me paint you a picture of what's happening right now in offices across the world. Sarah, a marketing manager, watches ChatGPT generate a campaign brief in 30 seconds that would have taken her team three hours. Tom, a financial analyst, sees AI models predicting market trends with scary accuracy. Lisa, a software developer, realizes GitHub Copilot is writing cleaner code than half her junior developers. And they're all thinking the same thing. I'm screwed. But here's where everyone gets it wrong. They think AI advancement equals human obsolescence. It's the biggest misconception of our time. And it's costing people their competitive edge while others who understand the real game are quietly positioning themselves as indispensable. You see, there's this dangerous narrative that AI makes everything easier. AI will handle research so my analytical skills don't matter. Um, AI writes better copy so creativity is dead. AI codes faster so programming expertise is worthless. This is exactly backwards, and it's why most people are preparing for the wrong future. Think about it this way. When calculators were invented, did mathematicians become obsolete? The need for people who understood mathematical principles and could apply them strategically became more crucial than ever. The same thing is happening now, but at warp speed. Here's what's actually happening with Altman's gentle singularity, and why it's creating the biggest career opportunity in human history. Um, while AI becomes incredibly sophisticated at pattern recognition, data processing, and even creative output, it's creating a massive gap that only humans can fill. And that gap isn't what you think it is. Everyone's worried about AI doing their tasks, but they're missing the real revolution. AI is creating an entirely new category of work that didn't exist before. It's not replacing jobs, it's demanding a completely new skill set that combines human judgment with AI amplification. Consider this. Netflix has thousands of movies and shows, but the real value isn't in the content. It's in the curation, the recommendation engine, the human insight that decides what gets made and how it gets presented. AI can generate content, but it takes human intelligence to know what content matters and why. The same principle applies everywhere. AI can write code, but it takes human insight to know what problems are worth solving. AI can analyze data, but it takes human wisdom to know which questions are worth asking. AI can generate ideas, but it takes human judgment to know which ideas are worth pursuing. But here's the kicker, and this is where most people are getting left behind. Succeeding in the age of AI isn't about competing with it or hiding from it. It's about becoming something entirely new, an AI architect. Someone who doesn't just use AI tools, but orchestrates them, combines them, and directs them toward outcomes that create exponential value. This is the Altman paradox. The more powerful AI becomes, the more valuable the right kind of human becomes, but only if you know how to position yourself correctly. Here's the secret everyone's missing. The future belongs to information architects, people who don't just consume AI output but design AI systems to solve complex, multi-layered problems that require human judgment, creativity, and strategic thinking. Let me break this down into what I call the architecture framework, your roadmap to becoming irreplaceable in the AI age. Layer one, the query master. Stop thinking of AI as a magic answer machine. Start thinking of it as a sophisticated instrument that only produces value when played by a skilled musician. The secret isn't in the AI's capabilities, it's in your ability to ask the right questions in the right sequence. Master prompt engineering, not as a technical skill, but as a strategic thinking tool. Layer two, the system designer. Here's where it gets interesting. While everyone else is using ChatGPT for one-off tasks, you're building workflows. You're connecting multiple AI tools and sequences that compound their individual capabilities. You're creating systems where the output of one AI becomes the refined input for another, creating value chains that are impossible to replicate without deep strategic thinking. Layer three, the human bridge. This is the killer advantage. AI is incredible at processing information, but it's terrible at understanding context, nuance, and human motivation. You become the bridge between AI capability and human need. You translate business problems into AI solvable challenges, and you translate AI solutions back into business value. Layer four, 
The quality curator AI generates volume, you provide judgment. AI creates options, you make decisions. Your role becomes less about creating from scratch and more about rapidly iterating, refining, and selecting from AI-generated possibilities. You become a creative director, not a creative laborer. The beautiful irony of the Altman paradox is this. The better AI gets at individual tasks, the more valuable you become as the conductor of the AI orchestra. While others fear replacement, you're building systems that make you exponentially more productive and strategically valuable than any single AI model could ever be. This isn't theory, it's happening right now. And the people who understand it are quietly becoming the most valuable professionals in their fields. Um, let me show you how this plays out in the real world, because understanding the framework is one thing, seeing it in action is what separates the talkers from the doers. Take Marcus, a product manager at a mid-sized tech company. Six months ago, he was worried about AI replacing strategic roles. Today, he's become the most valuable person on his team by becoming an information architect. Instead of spending weeks on market research, he designed an AI workflow that combines GPT-4 for initial research, Claude for analytical synthesis, and custom prompts for competitive analysis. But here's the kicker, he doesn't just use the AI output directly, he uses it as raw material for strategic insights that only human experience and judgment can provide. The result? Marcus now delivers strategic recommendations in days that used to take months, but with deeper insights because he can process exponentially more information. His company didn't replace him, they promoted him and doubled his salary because he became irreplaceable as the person who could turn AI capabilities into business value. But let's address the elephant in the room. What if AI gets so good that it doesn't need human architects? Here's why it, that question misses the point entirely. The more sophisticated AI becomes, the more complex the problems will ask it to solve. And complex problems require human judgment, contextual understanding, and strategic thinking that AI can augment but never replace. Here's the practical application. Uh, start building your first AI workflow this week. Pick one repetitive task in your job. Research, analysis, content creation, whatever. And design a multi-step process where AI handles the heavy lifting while you focus on strategy and refinement. Don't just use AI, architect it. The people who get this right aren't just surviving the AI revolution, they're becoming the new elite class of professionals who can create exponential value by combining human insight with AI capability. Here's your homework. In the next seven days, identify one workflow in your professional life and rebuild it using the architecture framework. Start simple, maybe it's how you research competitors, analyze data, or create presentations. Uh, design a system where AI handles the processing while you focus on strategy and judgment. Document your results. I guarantee you'll see productivity gains that feel almost unfair, because they are. You're not just working harder, you're working at a completely different level than people who haven't figured this out yet. The Altman Paradox isn't just a concept, it's a blueprint for thriving in the age of AI. While others fear the singularity, you're leveraging it. Hit subscribe if this changed how you think about AI in your career, because next week I'm revealing the specific AI tools and workflows that the top 1% of professionals are using to stay ahead. The future belongs to the architects. Make sure you're one of them.